I've got rats. Oh. Uh, the last couple of nights, it's been really nice out. So uh, I've been leaving the uh, patio door open. Um, my patio is screened, so I don't worry about mosquitoes and bugs and stuff. So I just left it wide open. Didn't even think about it. But then uh, I started hearing noises inside my tackle room. And I came in here and I saw him. There's one big rat. And I saw him leave, but then I guess there must have been another one in here. Because it did some damage. And then now that I'm aware of them, I'm starting to see and hear them all over the place. So we've got a problem. I've been hearing rats up here in this vent. And then when I went up here to look, I always couldn't figure out why they had this kind of cage on here. I thought maybe for lint or whatever. And then this one was blocked off with a towel. But then take a look at that. If that's not a rat hole, I don't know what is. Chewed perfectly <laughs> round circle there. I actually did see one come out and had his nose up here sniffing. And when it saw me, it turned around and ran back in. So I know they're accessing the vent somehow. So I went from here that I started, well, I better take a look at my other vents. And then this is what I found. I had this other vent up here. So I wanted to check on that one, but that one's blocked off. So I wasn't too concerned with it. Then I saw where the uh, foam filled a hole back in there. That could be an issue there. So I might reshoot it with some foam. But then I saw that. And I knew from then it's an existing problem. And then right on my patio, rat scat. So they use this ledge here. And I think they're climbing rat poo, rat poo. I think what they're doing is they're climbing this thing getting up inside there because I've seen their noses and then running around up there to get inside my uh, central air vent through that hole there. I think that wire got pushed out. So, yep, this is definitely the rat freeway. And this is a damage from a rat that got trapped in my tackle room. Uh, there was two of them in there. I heard them running around. I went in there. I saw one of them. So I left this door open and then I left the... Uh, the patio door open and I kind of put a barrier here, shut off the lights and I just stood there and I watched it ran out, went behind and out the door. So I thought it was the only one. So I shut this door and closed it for the night. And then when I was in bed, I could hear it was like a cat running around there knocking stuff over and just making a bunch of ruckus. And then I came back out and I saw this door was just chewed up. There was like shards of a wood everywhere, pieces of plastic where it ate through right here just so we had enough room and then got out, squeezed out. And that's the one I think is uh, hiding in my house somewhere. I actually built up quite a few of these when I was traveling through India. Uh, the people there really liked them because uh, the whole uh, animals, God, creatures type of thing. Uh, so this would allow them to capture the nuisance rats, get them out of their homes or the hotels or whatever and then dump them off in some field and then everybody's happy. So uh, I built these before just using just whatever I had in hand. So uh, let's go build one. The Rat Catcher 5000 is based on my grandma's design. I uh, used it at the ranch to catch a bunch of mice and rats. Uh, basically it is, it's a wooden box. Then on one side there's an opening. Uh, right above the opening you put a uh, like a weighted door on some tracks. Then to the weighted uh, door, they attach a string that basically runs from the front along the top and then to the back. And attached to that string is a pin. There's a hole drilled through the uh, back wall at slightly at an angle. And then attached to the pin on the inside is your bait or some sort of food there. Then when you slowly release the uh, door, it butts that bait against the back of the wall there. Hopefully if it do it right, it sticks, and then that basically holds that door up. Then a mouse or rat starts going through the box. They start gnawing on that bait. When that falls off that pin, it releases there, releases the line, which releases the door, and then that trap door slams shut, and that rat is captured. And that's the Rat Catcher 5000. So to build the box, uh, I just picked up some scrap wood from Home Depot. They actually just gave it to me, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is about the right height here, I guess probably a foot or so. And then that'll be high enough so that the rats can't just climb out very easily. Um, 
I'm just gonna go three sides and a bottom. Uh, I'm just gonna use some mesh. Mesh, I usually would do it in wire, but uh, I have this mosquito netting. But then I'll reinforce it uh, with some wood planks when I have it just set. Uh, this will help me so I could view it when I'm putting bait in there and to make sure I've got a rat in there. But then, like I said, I'll have the board sitting on top when it's uh, armed and uh, so they can't jump out. Uh, just a basic saw to do some cutting. I don't have any power tools. I do have a drill, so that's going to help getting these put together. And then just some uh, corner braces, and that's what's going to hold the uh, box together. So I'm going to base the box off of a one foot square. These are 12 by 12. So I'm going to do the two end caps from there. And then I'll figure out how much wood I've got to do the body and the bottom. Okay, so what I've got left here is basically 48 inches. Um, divided by three, that's uh, 16 inch sections. But because I'm putting the end caps on the ends like that, it's gonna extend out a half an inch on either side. So I can't do it in three equals, otherwise the, uh, the bottom wouldn't be long enough. So I think I'm gonna do 15 and a half, 15 and a half, and then I'll have a uh, 16 plus for the bottom. So that should be just about right. All right, so we've got our end cap, end cap, side, side and then our bottom so let's build our box and that's our box just kind of put together there uh, if i was cool i would have nice clamps but i don't so i think i'll get some duct tape hold it together and then i could start uh, putting in the uh, angle brackets there but that's what we're looking at all right we've cut our hole out there this will be our slide and i'll just basically sit there when it triggers it boom and that ain't going anywhere. So now I just need to create the little braces that's gonna allow it to slide up and down. That's oh, perfect. Found this kind of board here. It's a little bit thicker than the tile. So what I'll do is I'll cut this and that'll be a support that goes on either side and that gives it some height. And then I could have another piece or two that just goes across here and that keeps it from jumping out. So that's perfect. Okay, now I'm just finishing up the cross braces. That's going to keep this from being able to be pushed out by the rat. So there we go. So that's on the outside there. It goes in, releases. Bam, done. All right, we moved inside. It's just too hot outside. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing assembled uh, I'm gonna use my extra spare set of hands to kind of put it together and then I'll, I'll start putting the brackets on a little at a time so let's see how this works out I want to start by putting on a bracket on the inside here once I've got that front mounted then the other parts will fit easier all right front door is on front wall is on there so now I'll just do the three other sides and our main box will be done all right, the core part of the box is all done there. Got the sides and the base. Got the uh, containment area here for the slider, for the gate. So that's just gonna end up going through there, sit there, and then when it triggers, bam. So uh, yeah, let's just finish the top and then uh, we can start working on the, uh, the mechanism. All right, just put a mosquito mesh cover over it. Uh, this is, should be tall enough so they can't really get up there and start gnawing on it. They could jump and run into it, but it's strong enough to prevent that. Left one corner open because I'm going to need this to get in there to uh, arm it. But, uh, yeah, getting there. Now I needed some sort of wire frame to route the um, fishing line to kind of keep it from directly going right on the box. So uh, I have this dollar store fly swatter. I didn't have a coat hanger. But uh, this should work out fine, so I'll use this water, wire to make something. All right, I just got the uh, mounts on the wire just on the bottom here, so it's still flexible. And then uh, I just need to work on the angles where the thread is going to run from the front to the back through the eye here. 
and then down. I went ahead and drilled the hole through the back door. That's where the uh, pin is gonna go through that the bait is gonna hold and keep the pin from sliding out. But then I wanna make sure that that line doesn't have a, a real tight kink here. So I wanna kinda of pull it away using this. So that line will come out here and then shoot forward. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. All right, we're gonna to have to revise it. This tile is just too heavy to uh, put any type of bait on there. It's just like really heavy, so <laughs> a little bit overkill. All it needs to do is shut. I wanted heavy so it would close and then not be easily lifted, but this is just too much. So I think I've got a smaller tile and I'll try that. Okay, we've got version two with the smaller door there. Oops. Okay, so you just right about there and then bam, same deal. So, much better. I think that's going to hold up. So let's see if I can get some bait to keep it in place there. Bam! Okay, we are armed and ready to test. Got the tile raised up. Got the doorway open there. Got some food in there. Line runs across the trough. Goes to our little wire mechanism here. Kind of keeps it away. Down to our paper clip that goes through the hole and then the paper clip holds on our bait the bait wedges against it there and just enough tension so it doesn't release then little mousy mouse going over there nibbles 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 done Alrighty, the Rat Catcher 5000 is complete. Uh, it's tested, verified, it is good to go. Alright, but like fishing, we don't want to just blindly go out there and just kind of throw it out there and hope for the best. We want a plan, a plan of attack that's going to guarantee our success. So that's the same thing I'm going to do with the Rat Catcher 5000. I'm not just going to blindly put it out there. We're going to create a plan to make sure that we catch something. Um, I liken it to fishing and one of the sayings that I have is if you chum, they will come. And I've been actually applying that uh, the night before last when I discovered I had the rats. Um, just to test it, I put some, uh, some bread balls right outside the doorway there on my patio and probably 20-30 minutes later, next time I checked on it, they are gone. And I put another one out there, boom, gone. So I know there's a bunch of them out there. I actually seen them running through there. They're trying to get into the uh, air conditioning vents to get into the house. So I know they're trying. Um, then uh, last night, I thought I saw one running across my kitchen, just kind of peripheral vision it. So before I went to bed last night, I put out a, a nice little chunk of bread ball on the ground right there where I thought I saw it go in there. And... Woke up this morning, go over there, bread's gone. So I definitely have one leftover rat still in the house, so I need to get that one too. So uh, what I'm going to do tonight, the way I'm going to work it is I'm going to put out a few bread balls out there, scatter a few peanuts, because that's kind of what I'm going to use for my trigger, and then just have the box out there, not deployed, not armed, and just have them out there so that they're familiar with it, that it's there. Once I see that they've taken some of the, the chum baits there, then I'll go ahead and arm it, set it up, and guaranteed we're to catch us a rat. So that's our plan. All right, just scattered a little bit of bread there, some bread down there, threw some inside the trap. It's not armed right now. I'm just gonna get them comfortable with this. And then once I see this is gone, then I'll arm it and get one.
gotcha. You've been caught by the Rat Catcher 5000. Rat Catcher 5000. How embarrassing for you. What side is the one? Open. That side. You've been caught, buddy. Are you embarrassed? Cannot escape. No, buddy. This cage was so well designed and thought out. There is no escape. No escape. None. All right. Be free. There's a it's open. You can go. Oh. Rat Catcher 5000.